BFIT Nation, welcome back to a specific, a very special Motivational Monday here. BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes here. Uh, welcome. Again, if you are new to the channel, this is a great program uh, from our Exchange BFIT um, space where we get to focus on ourselves, focus on our health and our wellness with a little bit of movement, with a little bit of activity for today's live workout, okay? I'm joined by my special guest, BFIT Ambassador, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good. Good morning, Roy. I'm doing well. Happy to be with everyone today. Happy Monday. Absolutely. So this is our second week into the new year. And what more to bring to this new year with uh, a little bit of effort, a lot of sweat, and a uh, good cardio and resistance space workout that we have available for you today. So again, uh, welcome to BFIT Live. If you're new to the channel, uh, drop us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're joining from, where you're working out from. Uh, give each other encouragement, uh, motivation, uh, things like that. Again, drop us a note. We'd love to see any comments. I have my page up as well. So if you have any specific questions or modifications, uh, let me know as well. And uh, I can go ahead and see those on my end. Um, the timing for today, team. Okay, so we're looking at 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, we will move between resistance-based movements and cardio-based movements. That way we can really dial in a full body workout. All right, team. So once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Uh, we will, I will demonstrate each of the four movements before we get started. Listen for any coaching cues, any tips, any techniques, any form uh, correction that we may be able to take away from uh, those cues. We'll jump into some dynamic stretching and then we'll go directly into the workout. Again, the workout is about 17, just under 20 minutes, right? Just under 20 minutes worth of a live workout. So uh, prepare yourself here, find your workout space, find uh, some water, keep that water handy in case you may need. And as always, we'd like to challenge ourselves uh, with each movement, but also to your comfort level, wherever our fitness level may be today, that's where I want you to dial in today as far as fitness level goes and as far as challenging yourself. But most of all, have fun with the movements for today, but let's, um, let's work out nice and hard, nice and strong, and really kind of push through these few weeks and really go into our 2022 nice and strong. So Simon Barry, we ready to go? We look like we are good to go on our end. All good, Roy. I don't have good visuals of you. Um, I don't know if you can see me on your end. I can. I can see you on my end. So we look like we are ready to go. Let's start off with the four different movements that we are going to move for today. All right. That we're going to move through for today. So we have movement number one. We have a plyo lunge into a drop squat. All right. This movement is a little bit more uh, bouncy, a little more uh, plyometric like. So we are looking on raising that heart rate with our first movement. So with our plyo lunge, we're going to jump into that split stance here with our plyo movement here. So we have one plyo lunge into two feet together into a drop squat into an alternate plyo lunge. All right. Uh, try to sit back in those hips to where your knee tracks over that front of that toe, keeping your chest up at all times. Okay. So a nice plyometric movement, really working on our agility, our speed, and a little bit of strength here. So plyo movement, drop squat, plyo lunge, drop squat, rinse and repeat for 40 seconds. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. That second movement, we are down on the ground. We have a little bit of a yoga flow, if you will, with some core work, strength, and stability. So we have a downward dog into a push-up with an added shoulder tap if we are there today. So a couple of key points here to keep in mind. Our hands are going to be stacked underneath our shoulders. We're in that high plank position. That's going to be our foundation here. Feet shoulder width apart. Our head is looking down. So our back is flat and our hips are square to the floor. From here, we're gonna push up into that pike position. That's our downward dog for those yogis that are out there. We're gonna come into our high plank and then we're gonna add a push up. okay? Add a push up from there into our downward dog and then a push up. okay? That's gonna be a nice little flow here to really kind of stretch out your shoulders, really work on a little bit of strength, warming up your shoulders as well, as well as that shoulder, as well as that push up. okay? From here, if we want to add in that shoulder tap, it's going to be right hand to left shoulder, keeping our back nice and flat and our hips square to the floor and left hand to right shoulder. So down dog, 
push up into core stability right here with your shoulder taps. All right, right off the bat, that's gonna be movement number two. <laughs> movement number three, as we move through the sequence here, we have a squat, curl, and press. Again, full body workout, full body movements here. So with the short amount of time, we're looking at hitting as many muscle groups as possible, or you know, just to get a full body workout here. So squat, curl, press. We have a pair of dumbbells here. If you have a single dumbbell, this could be accomplished with a single dumbbell just by holding left and right on your dumbbell head, all right? We're gonna grab a pair of bells here. We're gonna go down into our squat. So knees tracking over our toes. We're gonna to push that back, those hips back, keeping that chest up. From there, squat, curl, and then you're into your overhead press. Control that on the way down, back to your side, palms facing your body here. Squat into your curl, nice and controlled. Rotate out, overhead press. All right, team. That's gonna be movement number three. And the last and final movement, we're gonna find some space on the back of our workout space. Here, we have one inchworm and 10 mountain climbers, okay? So we're gonna stretch down, reach down towards our toes, tap our toes, come out into our high plank position once again. Out of that high plank, you have 10 mountain climbers. So we're just gonna drive our knees to our chest, keeping our hips up and our back is flat. Out of those 10, reset your feet, come back up, touching our toes, retracting back all the way up to standing. That is our inchworm. And we come back down into our inchworm with 10 mountain climbers. All right, team. So those are the four different movements for today. We'll start off with some dynamic stretching before we get started real quick, and then we will jump directly into our workout. Sound good, BFIT Nation? All right. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, team. Uh, well, real quick, Brenda, hello from San Antonio, hometown shout out. Uh, welcome in, welcome to our BFIT Live uh, once again. San Antonio, I think we've all been through there before, at least if we've been through Texas. <laughs> so, all right, team, let's get off with some dynamic stretching. Let's start off with some dynamic stretching. That way um, we are prepared, ready to work, and our bodies are primed up and ready to go. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna send it back to our right glute here, and our left arm is gonna go up for a little bit of upper body and shoulder work as well. So pushing those hips forward, you're gonna feel that stretch in our right quad. Go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg, left arm and right arm to your speed here, to your tempo. Sometimes we may need to sit into a movement a little bit longer. Again, pushing those hips forward, you can feel that stretch in our hip flexors, in our quads, shoulders as well to kind of really elongate the torso. Good, nice and tall here. Each movement will do for about 30 seconds here. Last one here. All right, team, let's open up that foot placement nice and wide here for a lateral lunge, okay? Lateral lunge here with the fixed feet. So we're, our toes are gonna be facing to the front of the room. From here, we're just gonna shift our weight over nice and easy, nice and controlled to the left and then to the right. You're gonna feel, again, our hips. If we've been seated for a long period of time. They may be a little tight. So we're working on really just mobility, opening up our hips. Also, you'll feel that stretch in the inner part of your thigh. All right, keeping our chest up as we come down to the left and to the right. Again, feeling that stretch. A little bit of blood flow here to our lower body. Since we do have plyo lunges, drop squats, and a squat for one and three on our movements for today. All right, last three, two, one. Let's come to the top of our workout space here. We're looking at a reverse lunge with an overhead reach. So feet together at the top of our space here. From here, we're gonna send one leg back, right leg back, drop that right knee, right arm comes up, right arm reaches over to our left, feeling that stretch in our lats, which is our back, back to standing, left leg goes back, left knee goes down, left arm goes up and over to our right. All right, team, go as fast or as slow as you need for this movement. Really just shaking out, again, our lower body, incorporating some upper body mobility, some upper body movements here. Lateral work here, some lats. Nice deep breathing as well. Our bodies are waking up here if they are not already. So 
as a great time to keep our breathing under control before we get into our workout sequence. Last three, two, one. All right, team, last and final movement. We're gonna target our upper body here. So we're gonna stand to the back here. Feet shoulder width apart. Center is gonna be where our hands are together at our chest. From here, we're gonna extend out those arms nice and tall, left and right, thumbs facing the back of the room to a nice big Y position. Back to center here. We're gonna make a nice big T formation. Squeezing those shoulder blades to the back of the room. Back to center and a nice big W, right? Feeling that stretch in our shoulders, our adductors, our chest. Back to center here, a big Y left and right up top. A little taller here. Back to center, squeezing to the left and the right again with the T. Nice deep breath in. Exhale and a big W here. Good. A little quicker here with your Y, T, and going into your W. Last one here. Y, T, and W. All right, team. Looks like we are good to go. We should be nice and warmed up, nice and primed up, ready to go. Grab that drink of water. Again, find that towel, find that hydration, find that workout space. If you need any additional stretching, right now is a great time to kind of move your body around and see if there are any other tight areas within your body that you may need to kind of focus on to get us ready to go while I start our timer. All right, team, again, BFIT Live programmed workout for today. We have a cardio and resistance-based workout available to you. So, again, timing for today, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, team. Um, plyo lunges with a drop squat is going to be our first movement for today. All right, starting the clock. Here we go, team. 10 seconds on the clock. Again, plyo lunge, drop squat. Pile lunge coming up in five seconds. Five seconds coming up in five. And three, two, one. All right, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Plyo lunge, drop squat, plyo lunge. All right. Again, our speed should be dictated by our effort, but as well as our fitness level. Make sure to sit back into that drop squat, keeping our chest up. Good. Halfway there. Really feeling our quads, our glutes, hamstrings firing up and activating. 10 seconds here at an eight. Last five, three, two, one, time. Recover here, recover for 20 seconds. We are down on the floor for a downward dog to a push up. And if we have it today, we're going into a shoulder tap. All right, team. Let's go. Six seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, team. We're in that high plank position. Remember, our hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. Piking up, pushing those hips up, pushing those heels back to the floor into that down dog. You have a push-up and then a shoulder tap if you are with us for today. Again, these movements, let's go at our own pace. That first round, we will learn the movements. And then that second round, third round, fourth round, we will own the movements. <laughs> Good job. 10 seconds here, team. Good. Nice, strong movements. Five, three, two. We are out in one. And recover. Standing up nice and tall here. Good job. Good work, Sergeant Barry. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Grabbing a pair of dumbbells here. Remember, we have a squat curl press coming up in three, two, one. 40 seconds on the clock here. We're down with our squat, pushing those hips back, keeping that chest up. Curl, rotate out, overhead press. Good. Again, as fast or as slow as we need to take these. And dumbbells are not needed. If we do not have any dumbbells today, let's go ahead and go into our squat, curl up, nice strong fists here, and then go into your overhead press, really squeezing at the top. Last three seconds, two, one, recover. Good job. Ooh, find that, find that breath here. 13 seconds here, and we're down into one inchworm. 
and 10 mountain climbers, okay? Really core activation here. Nice core movements here, as well as cardio movements to keep our heart rate elevated. Two, one, here we go, down into our one inch worm. Hands come down, reaching for our toes, feeling that stretch in our hamstrings. Nice 10 mountain climbers. Reset. Really come back up nice and controlled. And we're right back down. Again, touching our toes. Coming onto that high plank position. Hands should be stacked underneath our shoulders. Our knees are driving towards our chest. Good. Last 10 seconds. Finish this out in seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Recover here. First round done and in the books. Good job, team. Good job. How are we doing, B-Fit Nation? Good job. Welcome, Liz. Glad you can join us. Casey as well. Great to see you in our B-Fit Live. Again, if you are new, if you are just joining us, this is Monday. This is 11 a.m. Central Center time where we host our B-Fit Live programmed workout. All right, team. This is a chance for us to move our bodies, to keep our blood flow moving through, really starting off the week nice and strong with a live workout. Four movements, four rounds, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. All the effort that you have, that's what we are asking for you today. 10 seconds here for the recovery, and we have plyo lunges with a drop squat. All right, team, nice and quick here, coming up in five, starting round two in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Plyo lunge with a drop squat. Again, take our time here. Also, use your arms for momentum. Good, really sit back into that squat. Good, last 15 here. Out in 10, keep it up. You've got it. Last five, three, two, one. Finish it out with me, time, good job. Woo. Good work. Give yourself a round of applause there. Again, that one's really geared to get our heart rate nice and elevated. So if you're breathing a little harder, that's okay. Down dog to a push up in five seconds here, team. Here we are. High plank position, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go, team. Pike up, push those heels back into the floor. Down with your push up. If we have a shoulder tap within us today, Let's go ahead and include that for round number two. If we need to regress into our push-ups, let's go ahead and go into our knees, right? Lead with our chest, keep those hips up, heads looking down, nice strong push-up. Then you're back into your high pike. Good, push those hips back. Five seconds here, three, two, and one. Good job. Good job, 20 seconds of rest here, setting up nice and tall, squat curl press, two dumbbells. We just have one dumbbell today, let's go ahead and again, we'll grab it from the head, left and right of our head, of our dumbbell. Here we go, team, four, three, two, one. Here we are, team. Squat down, into your curl, then into your overhead press. There we are. Nice squat, curl if we have one dumbbell to work with. Good, or if we do not, make that nice strong fist. Good, nice control as always with our resistance. Try to stay within control of your body. 15 and out. Nice and controlled with our weight. Really reading our body as we form each movement. Last three, two, one. Time. Good job. Catching our breath here. Last movement for round number two. One inch worm, 10 mountain climbers, 10 seconds to go. Good job, BFit Nation. Let's get ready here. Five seconds. Check it out. Stand up nice and tall. 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Down into our one inch worm. Feeling that nice stretch in our hamstring as well. Drive those knees. 
Good, reset our feet. And we are back up, one inch worm. Good job. Let's find that tempo. Try to stay with that pace. Again, nice full extensions on our mountain climbers from our chest all the way back out into a high plank position for the last 10 seconds. We're down into a high plank, driving our knees, finish us out. Last three, two, one. Good job and time. 60 seconds to recover here. Sergeant, very good work. Way to finish out the full 40 seconds of work there. We are halfway through our workout team, halfway through our workout here. How are we doing? How are we feeling? As we catch our breath here, again, within these 40 seconds of rest here, find our breath, find our hydration, find our water. Let's keep pushing. Two rounds under our belt. We know the sequence. We know the movements. Continue to push yourself. To continue, to continue to challenge yourself through these next two rounds. All right, team? It doesn't challenge us. It doesn't change us. Let's work on strengthening ourselves throughout this new year. And always possible, right, team? 10 seconds here. Coming back up, plyo lunge to a drop squat for round number three. Here we go, team. In three, two, one, plyo lunge to drop squat. Good. Good job. Really think about that nice soft landing, right? We want to absorb that weight. Get a little bit of air in between your feet and the floor. We need to regress, team. We are back into that reverse lunge, drop squat, reverse lunge. 10 and out. Keep it up. Stay with us. Last three, two, one, and recover. Good job. Woo, that's not easy, team. Good work. Good work on us for that one. Catching our breath here. Down dog push up, shoulder taps. Good job, BFIT Nation. Stay with us here. Five seconds here. We are down on the floor. Down dog push up, shoulder taps. Here we go, team. High plank position, 40 seconds on the clock. Good. So I've been picking up yoga for the past two months. And the down dog position is probably the most convenient after every sequence of a flow. You go back into the, the down dog, right? Everything can be kind of transitioned in and out from that down dog position. So it's a great way to stretch out, relax, recover, but also nice strong core, working out our arms. Last three, two, one, and time. All right, team. 20 seconds of rest here. Good job. Nice, nice and tall stance here. Squat curl press coming up. 10 seconds. Good job. Here we are, team four. Up in three, two, one. All right, down into our squat. Nice strong curl into our overhead press. Find our comfort, find our tempo. That works for us. Round three, let's pick it up just a little bit, team. Good. Nice control once again when dealing with weight and any type of hinge movement, any type of squat movement, really check yourself from the floor all the way up to your head. Last three, two, one, and time. Recover here for the last and final set of round three. Good job, take this time once again to hydrate, stretch out 10 seconds here. One inch worm, 10 mountain climbers coming up in five. Last three, two, one. 40 seconds on the clock here to round out round number three. Good. Keep that core nice and tight. Your navel is going back towards your spine. Really sucking that navel back in towards your spine. Core is nice and tight. Up into an inch worm. 20 seconds here, team. Stay with us. Again, week two within the new year. We're in this for the long haul. So 
Seven seconds here, one step at a time. What may be challenging for us for today, out in two, one, and time. Again, what may be challenging for us today, what we may really feel as discomfort, as challenging today, can really progress into an easier movement next week, the following week, the next month, right? Two months from now. Think about building that progression. Think about setting a foundation, taking that first step, and just starting, right, team? Setting those goals this year, setting those goals last week, this week, really monthly, quarterly, yearly, setting those goals, keeping that focus on them, and doing every small step that we can do to achieve those goals. 18 seconds here, last and final round. Sergeant Barry, I know you were there. Last round, we like to say last round is our what? <laughs> That's right, our last round is our best round. Five seconds here in three, two, one. All right, team, here we go. Last and final set for today's BFIT live workout. Plyo lunges into our drop squat, 30 seconds left on the clock. Now's a great chance to push through. Good. Good. Last 20 here. Again, a little bit of agility work here. A little bit of plyo. Heart rate's elevated. Eight seconds here. Last five, four, out in three, two, finish this out and time. Good job. All right. Fit Nation, there we are, there we are. Whether you're at home or whether you're in a facility like myself, it doesn't take much room to execute any one of these movements. Down to a downward dog push-up, coming up in five seconds, team. Breathing under control, high plank position. Here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Pike, nice strong push-up. <clears throat> Let's include the shoulder taps this round if we haven't already. Again, modification for our push-up on our off of our knees, regress, leading with our chest. 17 seconds here. Good job. Out in 10. Push through here, team. Out in five seconds. Last three, two, one. And time, 40, 40, 20 seconds to recover here. <laughs> Standing up nice and tall here. Squat curl press, give me those two dumbbells. Give me that one dumbbell if we have. Give me those nice strong fists if we have those as well. We are up in five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Into our squat, drive up through our heels, keeping our chest up nice and proud and then into shoulder activation. Good. Think about nice deep breaths. Nice deep breath in as you drop down into your squat. Exhale as you come up to standing. 10 seconds and out. Last five, finish this out team. Three, two, one. Good job, recover here, put the dumbbells down, put the weights down, we won't need them again today, but we are coming up on our last and final movement. Good job, team, good job. Eight seconds here, one inch worm, 10 mountain climbers. Back of our workout space here, in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Finding our toes out into our high plank, driving with our knees here. 10 mountain climbers, retracting back, nice and strong here. Good job team, halfway there, less than that. 10 seconds on the clock team, whatever you have left, let's finish out our sequence. Out in three, two, Mountain climbers and time. <laughs> ah. All right. Good job, B Fit Nation. Hold that head up high. Hold that 
Body up high. Grab that drink of water, towel off, hydrate as we come back to really bringing our breathing under control here. Again, BFit Nation, welcome. If this is new to you, this is a chance to work out with us, myself, Roy Montes, Sergeant Barry as well. And we are taking you just through a little under 20 minutes worth of a live programmed workout. Every workout has been different through the more than a year and a half worth of workouts, program workouts that we have developed and enjoyed taking with each and every one of you every week, week after week. A new year, starting a strong new us team. So we're in this together with our Exchange Be Fit community. This is a great chance for us to really focus on motivating, encouraging, right? Adding in some, some strength and some cardio resistance uh, through these weeks as we progress through 22. All right, team, good job today. Um, Sergeant Barry, how are you doing on your end over there, ma'am? Yeah, good, sir. So, you know, it's been a few weeks for me since I've been able to join, so I definitely kind of felt it. Um, a little extra challenging, but sometimes that makes it a little more rewarding, too. I feel really invigorated right now, so it's awesome. Great workout. Yes, ma'am, and I, <clears throat> I think it's, it's worth noting that uh, on your end and, and my end that having someone on the other end, having someone to share the workout with, help keep each other accountable is, is so beneficial to keeping us motivated, keeping us within step of our health goals, our wellness goals. And on that note, it, it's, it's something that our, our viewers here, share this workout, share this workout with your friends, with your family, with your spouses, with your siblings, with your coworkers. Again, this is a great way to help keep each other accountable. If you are um, having difficulty finding that spark, jump in with our BFIT Live community. Um, we're here to help support you. We're here to help um, really push you throughout the year. And we're, we're here to work out alongside with you, right? We're here with you as the exchange within our main stores. If you're looking for anything to support your health and wellness needs, we have everything from sporting gear to athletic apparel, sports nutrition, um, fitness trackers to, uh, if you step outside of our main stores, you have our wellness services that we offer, uh, at a few installations. We have chiropractic care, uh, chirotherapy, cryotherapy. Uh, we also have wellness services to take care of your vision and, uh, any type of oral care that you may need as well, as well as, uh, a little bit of uh, hair care as well. Um, if you jump into our express stores, if you're on the go, look for those healthier choices items to really take the guesswork out of smart snacking. Right, team? If you're looking for that snack on the go in between your uh, nutrition, your lunch, and your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinners, visit the exchange. We have smart snacking options available with a healthier choice tag that takes the guesswork out once again. And speaking of nutrition, nutrition is key here, team. So look to dial in your nutrition as well as all the hard work that you put in within <clears throat> the fitness uh, space within your workouts, really think about nutrition, really think about dialing that in. And speaking of nutrition, our exchange restaurants, more than 1700 exchange restaurants are available to you. Surf through those menus, find those healthier choices, healthier, find those better for you options that are available within our exchange restaurants. <laughs> All right, BFit Nation, great work today. Once again, if you are new, thank you for joining us. We're here every Monday. And if it's a holiday on a Monday, we push it to a Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time both days. Sergeant Barry, I believe we are all done for today with today's workout. I know it left me breaking a sweat. Any last comments from you, ma'am? No, thanks again for an excellent workout. Thank you, BFIT Nation, for joining us. And excited to do it again next week. Absolutely, ma'am. All right, BFIT Nation, you heard it here. Uh, next week will be uh, on Wednesday, I believe, Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, thank you for joining us. And Roy Montes here signing off. Have a great rest of your day. Great strong start to your week and enjoy team. All right. Bye. Signing off.